You're watching CBS 42, local coverage you can count on with Sherry Jackson, Art Franklin, Chief Meteorologist Ashley Gann, and Sports with Chris Breeks. This is the CBS 42 News at 10. As you take a look inside this church, that, see that deer jumping right there, caught trying to find sanctuary inside a church. This happened at a church in Michigan. That buck smashed through a window and just toured the balcony, but eventually did get back outside the same window that he actually broke. Monday was the start of deer hunting season in Michigan. Wow. A live look right now at the sky over Tuscaloosa. This week, CBS 42 is sitting down with the presidents of the state's two largest universities, Alabama and Auburn. Tonight, CBS 42 morning anchor Jack Royer spoke with UA's president, Stuart Bell, to talk about his seven years leading the school and its future. Dr. Stuart Bell has been the president of the University of Alabama for seven years now. A nuclear engineer by trade, now he's leading the largest university in the state. We sat down for a wide-ranging conversation about his job and what the future holds at the capstone. What have you learned from day one to now? What's changed for you? You know, fast forward now in seven years, um, we've really... Uh, <clears throat> uh, Accomplished an awful lot at the university. Dr. Stuart Bell has learned on the job, leading an institution with a storied history, and he says a bright future. The young people um, love the University of Alabama, want to be here, but they have these great dreams, and, and I think I have even a greater appreciation clearly now of how we help them fulfill those and see their careers that can be impactful. And uh, that's, that's exciting. Bell brags about UA's impact in researching various fields and the school's expansion of programs that allow students to mix curriculums, like business and STEM fields, for example, amid continuous growth in enrollment. The demand for the University of Alabama, as you kind of pointed to, is, is extremely high. We had 45,000 applications last year for our incoming freshman class. And so I do get to visit with um, many students and with parents. The University of Alabama has been focused on growth for decades. The school went from 18,000 enrolled students in 1997 to 20,000 in 2003. It's been a boom ever since. The school's current enrollment sits just above 38,000. Among those students, the majority now are women, and more than half come from outside the state of Alabama, including 92 different countries. What do you say to this, the general population about what it costs to go to school today? You're touching on something that's very important to us, and that is to keep the cost of, of education down. And I think uh, we were probably the first institution in the state to, um, in the last 10 years, to begin not increasing our tuition. He and system leaders have, like all of us, dealt with COVID-19's effect on learning and business, only recently dropping mask requirements as new vaccine rules take How effect soon. How do you manage soon. that sort of challenge as a leader? One, COVID is not in our mission statement. Um, and <clears throat> the point in that is we are still preparing young people to be the solutions to the challenges that we face in the state and all across the nation. And we can't keep our eye, can't uh, take our eye off that, that ball. When you are remembered 100 years from now, what do you hope people say, boy, Dr. Bell did so many things for the university and it started with this priority? Well, I, <clears throat> I do hope that um, Serving the state and serving our students is something that this university will always, always be known for. And um, I, uh, you know, my heart and passion is always for students and what they're able to achieve uh, during their time here. And then it is really cool in higher education that then I'm able to have a tailgate on my front yard mm -hmm. and invite back alums and get the snapshot of what they've been able to achieve because of what we're doing today. There's not many other places that you're able to, in, in really vivid color, you can see, here's what we're doing today. Here's going to be the outcome of those young people. And boy, it is exciting. For now, Bell isn't focused on his own legacy. Instead, he's focused on recruiting and continuing to grow the largest university in Alabama. Tomorrow night, right here on the CBS 42 News at 10, I'll sit down with Dr. Jay Gouge, the Auburn president. He's getting ready to retire for the second time. That's tomorrow night right here. For now, Jack Roy, your CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.